Hello lovelies, welcome back, it's Amy. And today we're gonna to be doing what I would like to call a spicy glam look using the Prown Crow palette. And this is called Fuego, I believe. It just looks like this. There are no colors, color names listed on here. So I'm just gonna point and show you. Now, the only light color I would like to use first on my base are these two and this one is a shimmer so I don't really want to use that one but this one is a matte so I'm gonna start off with that one and I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush this is a, just a BH number five brush I'm just gonna take that in the crease like this Okay, so we have that down first, and I'm actually gonna dip in this Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop just to get that nude shadow, because I like having a bit of a nude between my brow bone and the actual color I lay down. Just because I have so much eyelid space, I don't wanna bring the color all the way up there, and I like having that little bit of color right there. The next color we're going to go into from this palette is this right here, which is like a reddish brown color. We're going to take a more tapered blending brush. This is the Crown, Crown, BH Cosmetics, I can't read, number six. And with that reddish brown color, we're going to take that in the crease also. The next color I'm going to go into is going to be this really like almost purple brown color but because that looks like it might mess my foundation up I'm going to do what I've already showed you guys square tissue like that we're going to use that and I'm going to take this on a flat shader brush this is just the Alomar brush I like to use for color application on my lid. It doesn't have a name on it though of what it is or a number. It just says Alomar. And I think I want to focus this color to the second and third part of the eye. So I'll leave this first third without any color. Just leave it bare. And like I said, this just keeps, if you can see this up close, there's color fallout all over it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this just keeps your foundation. If you already have your foundation done, if you like to do your foundation first, like I do most times, it just keeps it from ruining your foundation where you got to go back and spend extra, extra time fixing all that fallout. Now that we have that color laid down where we want it, I'm going to go back in with a blending brush and just soften those edges up. And then I wanna go in on top of that color. I'll just use this one. I wanna go in with this one that's even more of like a red purple shade. I wanna go in with that same color, I mean, sorry, that different color in the same place is what I meant to say. And just place it on top of that color not worried about it looking splotchy right this second we're gonna go back and blend so how it looks right now isn't gonna be how the finished look is and for some intensity this is where we're gonna start doing some things First, let's take this white shimmery color. It's just like any white shimmer. Well, it's more like a cream color. And we're gonna put that 
tap it in the first third of the eye. And I'm not going to blend that yet because I'm not concerned about that yet. I'm okay with like leaving that right there right now because I'm going to do something to the middle. So I'm just going to make sure the coverage is where I want it. I'm going to take some of that on a pointer, pointer pencil brush. It's just a Half of these are just BH cosmetic brushes. This is a number 10, it's a pencil brush. I wanna take that white color. And what I like to do is bring it up a bit just so it draws focus to the eyes. Go in with that tapered blender, just make sure that top part is blended. And now for the middle, I wanna take that same flat shader brush that we were using for the dark pigment, this one right here, and I just want to spritz it with some Fix Plus. Try not to spray my camera with it. And I want to go into this red color right here on the end. We're going to take them swipe our brush into that that's gonna have some fallout so I'm gonna use my little tissue and I'm gonna focus this on just the center of the eye I'm going to take a little bit on the tip end of that brush. See how it's kind of flat like that? I want to take it and rim it at the top just like this. See that? Just like that. And then go back and whatever's left on the brush, just pat it where you want it. Okay. I'm going to wipe this most, try to get most of what's on there off. And I should have done this first. Where did I just set that? Oh, it's over here. I should have done that first, but I'm going to spritz it again. And take that white. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dip it in to that white, just so that white can be as intense as the red is. I'm just patting that next to that red color. And now I'm going to take my brush and make sure the edges are a little bit blended together where it's not a line, a line, a line in thirds. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to pat some more red right there in that little spot since it was just a wee bit splotchy. And I'm going to go back in with that dark red purple color in the outer corner and stamp that on just to build the intensity back up in that outer corner before we lay down the next shade. Take my blender and make sure that those edges are blended. If I can quit covering my eye up. <laughs> just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this darkest color, which is this brown right here, with that same brush that's still a little damp from our Fix Plus. And I'm not using my tissue, so I just got a little bit of fallout, which I should have. I knew better, but we'll fix it. I'm just stamping that color not really so much over the red as right on the edge and trying to mesh those two colors together. I'm going to take this brush that looks like this and I'm going to take that darkest matte brown color. I'm going to line my under eye with it. Now 
Then I'm going to take that smudger brush and I'm going to take this brownish kind of color. I'm going to smudge underneath. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in and make sure everything is blended. We didn't blend after that last placement of dark color. So we're just going to make sure everything is blended with each, each color. And I think what I want to do just for extra fun, just to make this stand out even more, is I want to take, I'm looking for it right now. I don't know what color this one is, but it comes in these little containers like this. And it's extremely messy so we're gonna be careful with that and my brush is still a little damp and what I'm gonna do I believe is take some of this glitter primer from NYX and put it on my brush it's probably better suited for using with your fingertip but I don't know if I showed you guys that or not I forget <laughs> the glitter primer okay I'm going to put a little bit of that on our brush. And I'm just going to pat the very center of the lid with that. Where I'm fixing to place some of this pigment. It's like a red, orangey, coppery kind of color. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit of that pigment on my brush like this. I'm going to go in. And this has some like really finely milled shimmer in it. It's really pretty. Go back in and pat, 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 pat. And I'm going to get a little bit more. You got to be careful with these because these really will fall everywhere on your face and you won't be able to get them up. A little bit more with this eye. Yeah, that's super pretty. Okay. And now, before I knock it over, because I most certainly will, I'm gonna put the lid back on it. I really like these little NYX pigments. They're called Ultra Pearl Mania. I've had those for a little while, so I don't know if they, I hope they still sell them, but I have five or six of those. I really like those. You can use them with the mixing medium, like this NYX, mix, NYX mixing medium. Or you can use it like I just did with the glitter primer. Now we're going to go in with, I think, a pretty neutral colored blush. So let's see what color this... Mm, well, okay, we'll use this. This is the Note Cosmetics Desert Rose. We're just going to go really kind of lightly with that. I'm just using another BH brush for this. We've got that. And now I think I want to use the shade. Let's use Champagne Pop. We're going to go in with the Becca Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this is in Champagne Pop. If I turn it like this, you can see that it's got that uh, pinkish peach tint to it. And I'm going to go back in with my pencil brush and do the inner corner of my eyes. If I can find it. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. I'm just going to do the inner corner with that. Right next to where we already have that white laid down. Just like that. And I'm going to take my favorite highlighter brush, which is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter. And I'm just going to hit the high points of my face. Okay. This is one of my favorite highlighters. This specific shade. And they're, uh, I think it's Moonstone is the other one that I really like. 
it's like a light white color it's just a really good highlighter those the balm and the cover effects highlighters and one from pure cosmetics are so blinding and so pretty we're gonna curl lashes because you know I'm always gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna go in with probably the same as usual. Yep. Because I don't have anything different to try. The Too Faced Cosmetics Mascara. If I find a different one that I want to try, I'm going to definitely get it and pick it up. I'll try it for you guys. Do you have any suggestions of a new mascara I should try? Something you've been wanting to see a review of? I know Tarte just came out with a new one. I think it's called Big Ego. Now, because I want this to be a glam look, we're fixing to have to make it glam. First, let me get my, not that, <laughs> my Q-tip and clean up and make sure there's no mascara. Like right there. And even if you do get it there, it's not a big deal. Like I've said several times, you can just wipe it off. And to make this more glammy, we're going to take my CoverGirl Lip Perfection Pencil and Passion. She needs sharpen. There we go. And it's just like a red orange with a little bit of pink to it. It's not completely red. Gotta wipe my lip balm off. And we're gonna line our lips with this. And I'm gonna go in with a similar color. Probably my least favorite application of makeup to do is lining my lips because I don't have giant big lips so it's a little bit harder to do than a lot of ladies that you see doing it. It's not that easy when you don't have big old va va boom lips. We're going to take the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, it's this color, and Venice and we're going to apply that well I hope and that's such a pretty color now this is like a red coral color it's one of my favorites when I want to go out and have a red lip this is usually the one I grab And this just speaks like spicy and festive to me. This color. Okay. Let's put her up. And let me take what I always have on hand. We just want to make sure our line is crisp. And if it's not, you can go in with a little concealer and a liner brush or a concealer brush and clean that up. And this right here is the finished look. Let's see if I can make that brighter and you can see how that looks. 
And that's it. That completes this look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram if you want. It's Amy Yevin Beauty. Amy Y-V-A-N-B-E-A-U-T-Y. And I'll have this look and a bunch of other looks posted on there. And like I said, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!